have a chance to turn. Like, okay, the reason why Tom Kench's alt is broken, excuse me, his W is broken, is the same reason in a different way of why Yumi's broken. Lack of interactivity. So you, you let's say you land that ash arrow on the enemy bars. You throw all of your, your, your kits at his face, Tom Kench grabs them and leaps. Nothing you could do about it. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. And with Yumi, it's the same thing. Yumi's hitting you with all this shit, but you can't interact with her. You can only interact with the person she's attached to. These are abusive, horrible things, and this is especially true on the bros. Just got back from facing a grave stop. It's warped top here. And he's he's relying on the fact that he's playing a very cheese style and a very cheese style champion. And he's hoping that I don't know this lane, but I know this lane. I've faced enough works in my time. I know how this lane works. I play passive, I get I get my power spikes and I crush them. He's a champion that does not scale well in lane. Not at all. He needs to get kills early if he doesn't. He's like Pantheon in that way. If he doesn't get kills early, he doesn't do shit. So I'm not going to let him get kills early. You agree it's a mini rework. It's definitely not a small change. It is a game-breaking change. Or game-saving changes, as I'd like to look at it. His W is too strong right now. If they do anything, changing it to his R, is, it's a smart decision. I'd prefer if they get rid of it entirely and just come up with a new mechanic. Or more specifically, just make it so the Devourer only works on champions. Like, why does the Devourer need to work on allies? Same thing with Jax's Leap Strike. Why does it need to work on allies? Is it not good enough that it just works on champs? Oh, come on. There it is, PTA proc. My PTA proc is greater. Gosh, oh, get him. Right, we'll just shove this in. All right, cool. Shoved it in. Let's ward. He could definitely have gone um, red to blue to gank, but he didn't. Good. All right, so what? He got all 12 CS? Are you kidding me? Jesus. Got his flash, that was easy. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me. This cannon is killing me. You lucky that did not connect. Man, you are losing this lane really badly. Ow. Oh, this bot lane's going much better than our last bot lane. But yeah, he's actually farming really well. I need to kill him. Am I dead? I'm dead. Yeah, the healing and the fear combination that really fucks with me. He, oh no, he threw it sideways. No! Kill! Thank you. Thank you, Nunu. Holy shit. I walked into that. I'm dead. Never mind, he's dead. Dumbass! Haha! <laughs> oh crap. Uh, are these guys? What are they doing? What the fuck are they doing? What the hell is this nonsense? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, are you trying to stop me? Uh, what? 
Anybody know what the fuck just happened? I don't understand what the fuck just happened. Uh Also notice the perfect E timing. Because that's what killed the E. Clamping his ass with my E at that, that moment was devastating. Unfortunately for me, this was a huge wave I just missed out on. I, he's level 5. I'm not. I missed out on at least 10 CS here. So as much as those kills were really good for me, and they were... May not be good enough to make up for all I just lost, because I lost a lot. He's at least half a level up on me, if not more. I do have a blue buff, though. But yeah, he's about to hit six, and when he does, bad things are going to happen to me, potentially. Oh, there goes most of his life. This shit again. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. He hit six during that time. Okay, this is getting frustrating. So, the Xerath has roamed for a second time now in two minutes. During this time, their E took drag. What the fuck? No, seriously. What the fuck is my team doing? No, seriously, what the fuck is my team doing? So what you're telling me is... The bot side of their map was the weak side of the map because their Xerath was topside. And our Vlad, neither did he get any plates, neither did he roam, neither did he help secure the dragon they took. How? How does this happen? No, seriously, how the fuck does this happen? And now I actually might be hopelessly far behind the work, despite having these kills. Because he has a level advantage that is massive. I just hit six. He's seven and a half at least. These ganks have absolutely crippled what otherwise would have been a really good lane. At this point, I'm fucked. I don't think I can, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to fight him until I'm at least level 13. Seriously, the massive discrepancy in farm and experience. He is much stronger than me right now. And that's not how this should be. Not the way this lane's been going. It really sucks that the Xerath came back. It sucks that he landed everything. It sucks that the Warwick just, literally just hit six. Also really sucks that our team has a new Can I this? No, I don't think I can. No, I cannot. I yeah, he's much, much stronger than me. Much, much stronger. I shouldn't have tested whether I could fight him. I knew I couldn't. Why the fuck is Nunu doing this? Seriously. Yeah, I am really absolutely fucked. And it has nothing to do with how I played this lane either. Everything to do with just which team gave more help. Don't get me wrong, the new news gank was awesome, but it was mostly because of just how bad his allies were. And not because of 
the new new himself. The new new was just right place, right time. The Xerath actively fucked Mio. The Yi actively tried to fuck Mio. And yes, that's something I find also incredibly frustrating is that what, what killed me the most there wasn't necessarily the CC or the damage from the Warwick, but the healing. Uh, I, can't, I can't defend this, it's gone. Anybody gonna come help me? No one? No one on my team's coming to help. Cool. Nunu's getting nothing done. No one on my team's coming to help. Am I actually dead? Yeah. Of course I am. They're just diving me. I can't get good teammates, can I? Not one game I'm playing. Never. It's just it's just not something I'm I'm allowed to have. Yes, I noticed that the Vlad's not leaving lane. Yes, it really sucks. Not an excuse, Nunu. You didn't take Dragon when they ganked me. The Yi got Dragon. And then when Rift Herald gets dropped topside, no one rotates. No one comes to help me. Just lets the dive happen. I'm fucked. And there's nothing I can do about it. This is just another game where I feel like I am a, a viewer of this game and not an active participant. Because the enemy team, they're act they have people that are actually making a difference in the game. We don't have anybody of that variety on our team. Vlad's not making a difference. He's not making a difference. Our vein kind of is. Well, there's our Vlad finally doing something. Wow, the entire team just got wrecked. Well, I'll be damned when my teammates actually focus on doing shit together. Good stuff happens. But as of right now, I know I can't fight this Warwick for any reason. He will kick my ass 100% of the time. I'm too far behind. Even now that I just hit 9, he will beat me. It's not even a question. I'm not coming to help. It's too late. Oh, my teammates all died. Cool. Yeah, and there was no way in hell I was teleporting down there for any reason. I'm too weak to help! Me teleporting would just be me dying and not getting plates. Here, at least, I'm getting several plates. I got a kill and a half just for shoving the lane. And the sad part is, after my teammates picked up all those kills, they all got wiped out. So, what looked like a good play, bot side ended up being a really bad play. Huh? What the fuck? Why did the screen get dark? Smashed a Darius with Teemo. Really? I can't take him. I can't I can't even stay here to farm. He could potentially run me down and kill me right now. That is exactly what he's looking to do. Never mind, he's looking to take the red buff. And he will take it. Yep, it's already gone. Oh! Can we catch him? Got his R at least. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. But then again, I traded my ghost for his R. He wins. That is a much shorter cooldown. 
There goes our bot lane. Yeah, this game feels done just like the last one did. And once again, I can't help but feel like if I had better allies, this wouldn't even be a, a difficult game at all. Because the enemy team opened themselves up. I don't want to waste any more time in this game. Because this game does feel just as hopeless as the last game I played. then he should have died. I think this turret's dead. We can't defend it. But notice how I rotate to your lane, Vlad, when you need the help? Even if my help is inadequate, I still rotate! Something I really wish you did. And there's another rift. Our Nunu has gotten absolutely nothing. He's gotten absolutely nothing this game. Complete waste of time game. Absolute complete waste of time. It's just a, a caliber of teams difference. It feels like I'm playing with people of full yellow bracket below my enemy. The decision making, man, it's killing me. I never seem to have my allies come help me when I need it. I never seem to have my allies taking objectives when they're free to be taken. Wow, did Vlad just kill two of them for free? Oh, I'm wait, I'm coming for him. Oh, this is not gonna work. Oh, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. And then he's not getting out of that, probably. Or is he? Nope, he's not. But he's done. Just too weak. This is nothing I can do. I haven't even finished my call. It's 18 minutes into the game, and I'm now getting my first complete item. And he now probably has his second one complete. Have I dropped a silver or something? No. I just happen to have really bad luck. League of Legends, at least solo queue, is, is basically 90% luck. 10% skill, 90% luck. Sure, you can climb if you're good enough. But to do that consi- but you can't necessarily win games consistently if you're good enough. Even the best players in the world will find themselves with a 60% win rate. In somewhat lower- I assume not entirely lower elos, but in somewhat lower elos, yeah. But right now, this is just another waste of time game. Right now, our Vlad's the only one with any kills, and there's Aerith's doing better. The Zareth has been doing better. I mean, well, there's definitely a potential for us to win, but... It's feeling close to zero. Hi! I saw what you tried to do there, Yi. 
I saw what you tried to do there. And I said no. I can't take that much damage. Let's go for a cleaver. Because right now, a big issue our team has is a lack of damage. Just to know what you missed. Game one was me going six and two and Zach and and literally having more than half of the team's kills. So unfortunately, we lost that game. And this game is a game where I I don't know what to say, man. I got abandoned, and the enemy team once again spent so many resources fucking me over. Oh, this one's getting. Weird. I know you wanted that kill, but I'm taking it. This is the second time I've now caught people just overconfident in their belief they can just 1v1. Um, and I'm sure they could, but who said you get to 1v1? Certainly not me. Alright, I got our team's first global objective. 21 minutes into the game. This is also the second game I've been in where the enemy team literally got every global objective. So, yay. I don't think I have enough, do I? I do. Awesome. Well, now I got my power items. Now I just need to get a Righteous Glory. With these items, I could potentially fight the um, Warwick once I hit 13. did a lot of fucking damage. That new new ult. I, I don't understand why the fuck Bazillion went over there. The Vlad committed suicide when he went in with his R. Yeah, what a surprise Vayne does no damage with one item when their Draven has two. What a surprise. You're only 4 DCS behind him. You only lost your turret before him. You're only a level behind him. Again, I don't understand how I can face so much enemy pressure and our bot lane still loses this dramatically. Well, I'm 13. Not that that's going to matter. Thank you, Zillion. I'm not sure I could have won with that Zillion there. Oddly enough. This is such a dangerous thing to do. I don't know where their E is. I actually have to stop. I don't know where the E is. And I don't have teleport either. Damn. That's soul. We need to do something about that. Um. Can't let them get that. Killing the Warwick was a nice step, but... It doesn't necessarily stop them from getting this dragon. We need to group up and take it. They need skin suits to do damage. She has it now. Oh my god, look at that flawed go. Can we take it? Well, Nunu is here. Oh! No, we cannot. Oh god. Oh. Got him. 
And Nunu got the dragon. Now run for your life. Why did she... Okay, good. He can root him. That's fine. Then he just needs... To... Why? What is he doing? Why is he trying to fight him? Can he actually go even with the war? <laughs> That's awesome. I got two kills there. Again, this game feels like an extreme long shot, but it's not over yet. We do have Vlad, and he's a champion that um, has some pretty absurd late game scaling. You saw he went in 1v2, nearly killed them both on his own. Um, and then the Yi did something stupid. He went for me, so I murdered him. And then the Xerath did something stupid, and he went for me, and I murdered him. The Warwick also did something stupid, but that was earlier, and hence when I killed him. It's an issue of time. Dang, if I teleported here, that would have been good. So yeah, now he's got Sterix, Titanic, Spectre's Cow. I mean, I do have um, Bramble Vest, which is good. Nunu heals as much as Warwick does, but he doesn't do anywhere near the same damage, which is the reason why I'm surprised to see him try to go for that. I'm just keeping an eye on there. Oh shit. I was expecting the enemy team to do something um, mid lane, but they didn't. Excuse me, uh, bot lane, but they didn't. Because the vein was essentially alone until the zillion showed up, so I figured the enemy team would come respawn. They didn't. Vlad's going bot lane. You don't have teleport, dude. Let me go bot lane. I was gonna kill him, you know. Definitely didn't need your help. Oh. Wow, look at that Vlad go. Uh, go straight to hell. What is that? Oh my god, the Nunu's got him! Oh my god, the Nunu's got him! Oh, that second bomb landed, he was dead. Oh, wow, this game's winnable. Wow, this game's winnable. Uh, no, no, please. Can we just leave? Oh, God. Is Vayne going to be okay? Yeah, she got the repost. Nope, she's dead. Stupid vein, stupid, stupid vein. Now you are gonna die. It'll take a while, but we are going to kill it. I God, so tempted to get a righteous glory. Um... How can he even see that? No, seriously, how is he able to see that? Uh, what is Vlad doing? What are you doing, Vlad? Anybody else want a piece? 
Uh, okay. Um, I think I just caught their draven doing something dumb. Here comes Nunu. Just wait for the Nunu. Wait for the Nunu. There. I don't know why I said wait for the Nunu. We killed it without a minute. Okay. Um. I do love the the Draven's optimism trying to run at me like that. I thought that was very optimistic. How is this game winnable at all? I don't understand. I actually have more kills in the work now. He was 7-1 and one at one point, and if I'm not mistaken, I was 2-4. and four. I'm now 10-6. and six. What the fuck happened in this game? What the fuck happened? Um... I guess we outscaled him. Fuck. Fuck. Whatever. Guess I'm not buying anything. Ah. We got super dismissive of Draven as well. Never did me flash mass your team IQ Lord by five hundred points. There's a theory I've never heard before. It is really sad to me though. Our AD carry is 454. Then again, there's this 455. So maybe this isn't so sad. Neither AD carry is adequate this game. Both AD carries are weak. Vlog was still there. I, I don't know what our our uh, Bane's doing. Uh, what are you guys doing? Just making sure you're not getting yourself killed. It is a zillion. It's gonna be really hard. Ow. I need magic resist. Oh, cool. We just got several counter ults. heal up. Let the supers do their thing. Got him. Nice. Oh. Got him! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Around the world, baby! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Thank you, Zillion, for all that movement speed. Because I know Zillion sped me up there. Just fucking ran him down. Oh, that felt good. That felt real good. We can at least take one more turret. Wow, Nami ult up again, huh? Can we actually win? Oh my god, we won! We fucking won! I don't believe it. I don't... I actually don't believe we won. I can't believe we won that game. I can't believe we won that game. I can't... I... I don't understand how we won that. No, genuinely, I am lost and confused. As far as I could tell, our bot lane was doing terrible. Turns out their bot lane wasn't doing much better. He had a 40 CS lead, but that was about it. Um, our mid lane wasn't doing that well. Their Zareth was roaming pre-6 and finding kills. And he was roaming constantly. And then our Vlad managed to kick in and suddenly was a big threat. And me, of all things. I was doing horribly early on, mostly because of that incredible presence from the enemy team topside, which at this point really shouldn't shock me. Um, it was the repeat game from the Zareth I didn't see coming. That was something that truly threw me off. Because he was probably the secondary carry of this game. It's stupid. I was the primary carry. That is so, so dumb. I didn't have the most kill participation, but I had the most kills. And it wasn't a small amount. That's just fucking ridiculous.
lose this knob jungle. Excuse me? Hold on, are you talking about the jungler who managed to get literally every objective until the fourth dragon? Literally every objective until the fourth dragon. Oh my god, Audrey, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Jax, what the fuck are you doing? That is a hilarious posture. <laughs> wow, look at that Xerath damage. I mean, that's the sad part. Their Xerath was their primary carry. He was doing work. But they didn't have a secondary carry. On our side, we had a primary and a secondary. On their side, they had a primary and everyone else. More sad, though, is that their primary, the damage difference between their primary and the two of us basically means that the three members on their team here would have essentially overall more damage than the Vlad. So it would mean that they essentially had... Um, they essentially had everyone on the enemy team doing more damage than everyone on our team. But as a nice counterpoint, we definitely had greater tankiness. Wow, that is dumb. Wow, look at that. Look at that fucking self-mitigated damage. I didn't go that much tank, though, so I guess that's why. I mean, I got Righteous Glory, Bramble, and Tap. It's really not that much damage mitigation when you think about it. I'm glad I went for the BF sword. I'm glad I went for the cleaver. I, I I definitely hit on a very important point was that my team was lacking in damage and that I needed to make up for it. It's just dumb that I had to. It's so dumb. And yes, a visage definitely would have been good that game. I just didn't have time to buy it. Nor room. I mean, I was getting the GA and spirit visage. I mean, that's the thing. Their team was mostly physical damage. It was the Zerath was the only one doing magic damage, but he was doing a ton. Spirit Visage would have been good. Still, I think this Bram I think this BF sort was not a bad buy. I'm annoyed I didn't I what I should have done actually was sold the Bramble Vest, buy the upgrade buy the GA, and then get an executioner's calling or something. I don't think I would have had enough money to do that though. Otherwise I probably would have just had enough money to buy the GA. God, I, can't, I cannot believe we won that. That's probably going on the good games chart. Let's look at the gold graph. Oh! Look, when I said this was a hopeless game, I wasn't wrong. This was a hopeless game. We should have lost. They had... Okay, so in their absolute peak, they were up 6k gold at 17 minutes. 6k gold... At 17 minutes, this does not include the level advantage they had at this point, as we know the work was at least a level and a half up on them for the majority of the laning phase. So that lead is probably closer to 7 or 8k in gold. for or, Essentially, 7 or 8k gold in power that their team had over ours. Not to mention the advantage they had in turrets, which, mean, which means they also had a vision advantage. They had a safety advantage. Our top side. I lost both top side turrets on the first Rift Herald. I had no safety up there. My team had no power in the top area. And despite all that, despite all of their leads, they lost anyways. And it's a throw. This is absolutely a throw. Because this lead, like 6k gold at 17 minutes, plus level advantage, plus tower advantage. 7.5k gold at 23 minutes. This is a very minor improvement. In fact, it might not even be an overall improvement. I like using the XDM brain. Wait, what? 